get the chance to sit down with comedian Jonathan Kite, or better known as Oleg, the raunchy Ukrainian cook who works at the diner in the hit TV show that runs here on the U, Two Broke Girls. Uh, we got a chance to chat about his life growing up in Chicago and also his rise to fame. Check this out. We got an H34 at T2. A hair? That's impossible. Let me put some pants on. Did someone say stud farm? <laughs> That's right, you mothers. I did it. I made the perfect bread. Here, Jonathan Kite, Dupar. It's a pretty good spot right here. Nice little diner feel here. When we first started the show, uh, Too Broke, I had thought that they had used a Dupar's as a model for our Williamsburg diner. Does anybody know how to make sex on the beach? Easy. I put on my Speedo and wait. <laughs> From Skokie, Illinois. Skokie, Illinois, Niles brother. Niles North graduate, man. What was it like coming up? What was the young Jonathan Kite like? Uh, probably uh, a lot to handle. My dad really, ins he introduced me to all the classic uh, radio broadcasts and the old time movies and classic television shows. And at the same time, my mother was taking us uh, to theater a lot to see all the musicals that came through. Mm -hmm. She thought we'd have a good time. Two Broke Girls Falls Into Your Lap. Yeah. What was well, that like? Didn't really fall into your lap. Yeah, I was gonna say because uh, the thing was, um, they wanted a guy who was 20 years older than me for the part. Don't panic. At least you called it in the early stages. They're looking for somebody who's authentically Russian and That's like 50 wondering. plus yeah. years old. So I went to a Goodwill, which is not far from here, and I bought uh, these really like clubbing pants. These like weird, um, like tiger stripe brown and black. Do you still uh, have them? I do still have them. Oh, oh man. So Smithsonian. Throw them on. Let's go out tonight em. out here I in just LA. tear my jeans <laughs> off. I'm like, I'm wearing them now, bro. Come on. I don't want anyone to know I can't get it up. Ole can't get it up? <laughs> and I wore a tank top, and I stained it with mustard, and I wore a hairnet. Yeah. And I went in, like, looking as much like him as I as I possibly thought, but I put thought it wasn't just, like, random. I really tried to think of why he would do this, because I'm like, this guy's going to the club right after. What was it like working with that cast? Cat, I mean, Beth? It was amazing. You know, we really got along. I think it's a, it's a very odd thing, the television world, because they put you together with a bunch of people that you naturally, especially the relationships that we had on the show, of these people just had chemistry. For sure. You know, that we that we worked together forever, except Beth's character who was, you know, new, but she was gonna fit in right away. Because that's the only thing that's gonna keep me here. <laughs> so the fact that we really had chemistry as people, and we didn't know any, nobody knew each other before the show. Really? It, that was kind of amazing. Yeah. And so from that first episode, you kind of see like, this is really cool, like we, we really get each other, and I think we, we, there was a lot of, I could say there was a lot of respect for one another sure. and appreciation for the talents and the energy and style that that particular person brought to make that flavor, you know? That's right. Oh, oh, I touched it, gross. Someone put your hand in my bra and help me. Why now? Now when I'm off the mark. You're living a lot of people's dreams, especially that young guy who's living in Skokie, young kid, young girl, who's thinking, I want to do what Jonathan Kite's doing. What would you say to them? Those people that are back in our, in our great city of Chicago that are watching. Yeah, for sure. And want to chase a dream like the one you've chased and you've grabbed onto. I think, you know, the most important thing for me is that, A, I think people have a great start coming from Chicago because I think those are grounded people. I'm so proud to be from there. I think that those are salt of the earth, hardworking people. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's you never give up. If you really, really, really want this and it gets... It, it, you know, it, it, it gets to sometimes to a point where you think like, can it get better? You know, I think if you want it, you figure out how to make your way in this world. Pick up hot doll. Jonathan was a super cool cat. Uh, Chicago guy um, from Niles North uh, High School, uh, but big into sports. So before we sat down, it was kind of like the producers and the camera people were like, all right, let's get going, you guys, because we were sitting there talking about sports, just catching up. He's a guy, and this is cliche, but they say a guy you want to sit there and have a beer with yeah. and kind of shoot the stuff with. I like those guys. That's exactly who he <laughs> was, where it's like, all right, you guys, it's time to work. Let's do the interview. Aww. But the stuff before it was was immensely entertaining. Very gracious guy. And he's a guy that, you know, has honed the craft. Like, nice. TV was just another side of his performing and, and being coming from a theater family. So it was really cool. I love hearing those stories, too. Like, the, the behind-the-scenes type stuff. So it yeah. sounds like you got a good amount of that. Yeah, was absolutely. So we'll have Jonathan. He said, when I'm back in town, I'm definitely coming on the show, so watch for that. But for now, watch for Jonathan on Two Broke Girls, which is back-to-back -back here on The U. It's starting at 7 on Sunday. 
Mondays and 9 p.m. on weeknights.